In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a ball that bounces, and it can have several different bounce types. You'll see what I mean in a minute, so stick around. Alright, so the first thing we're going to have to do is create a actor, and name this BP Ball, or whatever you'd like. You can do this without having an actor, but if you want stuff to like happen when the ball bounces, and whatnot then it's best to just go ahead and make it an actor so we'll go ahead and open it up and inside here we are going to add one component and it's just going to be a sphere and it's a little big so set the scale to 0.5 on everything you can keep it one if you'd like or make it even bigger it's up to you and then next what we're going to have to do is scroll down here and hit simulate physics and mass in kilograms and now this is where some settings that you can set to what you prefer can be messed around with so we could set the mass to something like 10 it'll be make it lighter so the player can like kick it around a little bit and stuff and now we can come up here and compile and save and move on to the next step so back in your content browser, what we are going to do is right click and do physics, go down to physics and create a physics material and just click this one and then select and I'm going to name it PM underscore bounce, something along those lines, open it up and then this is where more settings can be messed with to your liking. The friction right here is how easily things can be controlled, like sliding wise. So if you want it to slide around a lot, you could do like 0.05. But if you don't want it to slide around, you could go something like 1.5, somewhere around there. I don't know exact like real world numbers of like a bouncy ball. So I couldn't really tell you that. But you can just play around with the values and find what you like. And then down here in friction combined mode, we have to check this override and you can mess with stuff here again. This will override the friction and determine which value we should go with basically. So like whenever the two objects collide, which friction value are we going to roll with? By default, it's set to average, which is probably best way to calculate it but if you want it to just be determined by your ball then if this number is high just set it to max but if it's low then set it to minimal all right and then we can head on to the restitution and what this is is the actual bounciness of the ball or the material by default it's set to 0.3 but i like to um, up it to like 0.6 just double it you have to check your combine mode again and I'm going to set this to max as well again these can be whatever options you'd like whatever numbers you'd like this is just how you can make a simple bounce so if we come up here and save this we can go back to our ball and on our sphere over here we can scroll all the way down actually right here in collision my bad you can click this and then search for your pm bounce right here and then compile and save and now this ball should bounce all right so back in the viewport if we drag this out we could drag in a couple it doesn't really matter just different heights like that and then we press play as you can see they bounce and mine aren't super bouncy it's just how i have it set up but if you mess with the values a little bit, you can get them to bounce a lot more. But they bounce a little bit. Alright, well I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you learned something or found it interesting or found it useful, then subscribe for more. Leave a like and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.